book. I made cookies. What do you think? I did not make those ones. Lewis got those uh, somewhere at the store. And I walked downstairs and I saw those and I was like, those look fun. And then I decided to make cookies. And they came out like perfect. They came out perfectly. Everybody always hates when I grab them. But like, who do you think put them in here? It was me. <laughs> it was this hand that did it. And I don't have a link to a recipe, but it came out of this 100 cookies book. This is a really good cookie cookbook if you're um into baking if you're into baking cookies <sighs> my cookbook collection is getting a little out of hand love not too out of hand just a little bit hello uh we just by we i guess just me i just picked up the car from the um auto body place we we have to get both of the cars fixed but i just wanted to do one at a time so like we could definitely have at least one of our cars have that you know we had a rental but you know what i mean it's just better to have your own car but uh yeah i just picked it up and both of the cars have hail damage because sometime last year there was a really bad hail storm and unfortunately uh lewis was parked at work and i was parked at a nail salon my cousin's shop and the, both of the cars were outside during the hail storm and it was crazy like the hill was huge and doesn't that just freak you out sometimes to think like gigantic things can just fall from the sky like we don't know what can fall from the sky like just these giant balls of ice they're just randomly start falling from the sky and they were huge so both of the cars got just obliterated just tore up seriously and i finally like called it in or whatever girl I have never, um, cost me zero dollars, of course, right? Because I have insurance, great, great, great. There's no deductible, none of that. So I'm like super grateful for that. Um, but I've never, I never had a car where I was gonna be like, I'm gonna take this to the shop and they're gonna fix this little dent or they're gonna fit. I didn't care as long as the car turned on, got me where I needed to go, had heat, had a radio, that was nice. I didn't always have the radio, but <laughs> if it had that, that was nice. Girl. I had no idea. Like, I knew it would be expensive to fix, like, you know, like a car accident. I assume, okay, that's going to be expensive to fix your whole front bumper and this, that, and the other. But for some little dinky hail damage, my goodness. She pulled the thing out. She said, here you go. I just need you to sign this. She's like, your balance due uh, looks like it's zero. She said, but the total was just shy of seven grand for one car. Just little dinky, dink, dinky, dinkies. Cred blew my mind. Blew my mind. Let's do a little book talk today, right? So I have my Kindle. The last book that I read on my Kindle was The Hopeless One by Elsie Silver. Well, the lie detective determined that was a lie. And it was like single dad, um, and there was like a nanny, and it was fun. They were on the ranch, sorry about the angle. They were like on the ranch. The spice in that one was also, I feel like, well-written. It wasn't too, too, too over the top. I will say that I started skipping it because I really am not there for these graphic sex scenes. I'm really not there for that normally. I'm there for the relationship. I like the feeling of people like falling for each other. That's my favorite part of the book. That's why I like slow burns so much because they're so good. Like I just like being there and witnessing two people falling in love, even if those people are fictional. I just wanna be there. I wanna be a part of it. I wanna see the little moments. I want, like, I want that, okay? So that's my favorite part of these kinds of stories. So I do think that she did a good job writing it. I think Elsie Silver does a good job with her uh, spicy scenes. It just got to be a little bit too much for me. So overall, enjoyed it. And then I started reading, I'll show you. I've been reading it on the Kindle, but of course I also have it in paperback because collecting books and reading books are two different hobbies, right? That's what the internet said. Okay, oh, first of all, can I just like brag on my, look at these guys. Look at them, they're finally gonna fall. The third one died. Do you remember me planting this last summer? Oh yeah, that's gonna be cute. There she is, she has some little succulents like up here, but we'll see how this grows. Third one died, but uh, question, if I pluck one of these off and I kind of stick it in there and I water it a little bit, will it grow? Because aren't each of these a plant? Anyway, I'm excited because I want it to fall and look like her hair. Okay, so currently on my Kindle, actually I'm right here. I'm this far <laughs> into God of Malice, which is by Rena Kent. Kent, sorry, Rena Kent, and this is the Legacy of God series, and Larry talks like heavily about these. She was like obsessed with one of them. I don't think I have the one she was obsessed with. I just have one and two. I have God of Pain and God of Malice, and it's dark. <laughs> it opens with very non-consensual things happening, and 
I don't know. I don't know if it's because they're in college or because I just don't like the characters, but I'm struggling to get through it. I'm like 30% in and I think I'll get through it, but it's kind of making me not want to read. Do you know if you ever have like a book like that where you're like, ugh, I want to read, but I don't want to read that, but I also don't want to start a new book. So I went ahead and started a new book. So I started Haunting Adeline. So many people have talked about this and I really had no idea what it was about besides it was going to be like a stalker, dark stalker situation. But I wasn't sure if it was going to be like some dude who's like hunting her and she's like, well, I know the second one's called Hunting Adeline. I wasn't sure if she was going to be like hunted and like this was going to be like a, he's trying to catch her and then he's going to hold her hostage and then he's gonna do bad stuff to her or something else. And I think it's something else. I don't think it's what I thought it was gonna be. I'm only about 10% in, so not that far, but we've so far already gotten both points of view, which I really like. And I have been rereading things as well. And yesterday I finished another Frieda McFadden book, which I have right over there. So this is what I was talking about. I read, actually, I don't think these are in order. Are these in order, you guys? No, because the first one I read was Heartless? I honestly don't know. And then I just told you I read Hopeless, but how did I read Hopeless? That's not even here. I don't know which one's first. I've read the first two, and these are, what are these ones called? The Chestnut Springs or something? Oh, okay, this one. I read Heartless. I read Heartless, not Hopeless, so I take that back. Cade and Willa. But I also read the first one, which I think was Powerless. Psych. The first one must have been Flawless. And so I have to read Powerless and Reckless, or I get to read them, I should say, because... I do genuinely enjoy this series. Normally I only put books I've already read over here, but I just needed somewhere to put them because I was running out of space. Uh, my book of the month order came in. So this I just got yesterday. This is Only If You're Lucky by Stacey Willingham. And I have another book by her that I uh, read last year. The Soulmate, what did you write, Stacey? Stacey, Stacey. Oh, she wrote A Flicker in the Dark. A Flicker in the Dark was a good book. So I feel like she's a good author and we're gonna see where that goes. And then I picked up No One Can Know and this is by Kate Alice Marshall, another thriller. Kate Alice Marshall also wrote What Lies in the Woods, which is over there, but I'll put it on screen. That was a good book too. I, I really enjoyed it. Finally picked up Kitchen Confidential, which is Anthony Bourdain's book. I did read a biography, sort of. It was like, I want to say like the producer on a bunch of his like shows and stuff. Um, he wrote a book after Anthony had already passed away and I read that. So it was kind of like his time with Anthony. And then my brother read this and he was like, Sarah, you got to read it. Like you're really going to love it. So Pick this up, Adventures in the Culinary Underbelly. I've always thought that Anthony Bourdain was a super interesting guy, his outlook, his whole vibe in general. So really excited to read that one. And then in order to order from Book of the Month, you have to pick up one of their new books. So this is the one that I ended up picking, even though none of them super appeal to me, but this one looked cool <laughs> and it's a mystery thriller. So she thought it was the perfect getaway, but it wasn't, girl. And her name is Sarah. I don't know how to say that. Oaks, Sarah Oaks, Oaches. Oh geez, finally, these are the ones I recently read and The Nanny, I read right after I read Heartless. So it was single dad, nanny, like in both of them. But this one was so repetitive. She's an, She was like a former OnlyFans girl and he was actually like her main dude. And you would think that that would make this like so exciting and there's a lot of boning in here and it's unnecessary and I skipped the mass majority of it because it's just so repetitive. I don't know, I felt like it had potential and the beginning was interesting and then it totally fell flat. Kind of the same thing with this, bear with me now. I picked this up when I was in Alaska and I really love the opening, I love the whole setup. Um, it's about, she's like helping him, she's like his sober companion, however, <laughs> He is not an alcoholic, so it was not, it wasn't, it, it's not even worth really mentioning. This one was so good, Life's Too Short, love Abby Jimenez, love this book, I gave it five stars, it was great. If you've ever read any of Abby Jimenez's books, you know that she does a really good job of showing you like real people and... I don't know, the characters have depth, the stories are interesting, there's a plot, there is, you know, a little bit of spice, it's there, but it's not about that, and I do really enjoy her book, so I give that five stars. And then I read The Shack, because Lewis had picked this up for me. I don't know how I feel about this one entirely. I gave it three and a half stars. It is a, kind of like a, a I, don't, I wouldn't even call it a Christian book, honestly, it is, but it's not to me. Like, I don't know. I might watch the movie and see if that kind of helps shape my opinion of it a bit. I also read The Haunting of Hill House. This is just what I had in the last few weeks. No, I don't know. This is supposed to be some super hor like horrible, like haunting book and I just was like not that haunted. I did like the ending though. And this was a pretty 
run-of-the-mill thriller. I had a good time with it. It was a very quick read. It was a fun time. Freedom McFadden does her thing every time. Anyway, enough about those books. Oh, psych. I'm actually, I just DNF'd one like literally 20 minutes ago because I was just not having a good time with it. And I bought it years ago and I'm like, Sarah, just give it up. So Paris is always a good idea. I just DNF'd it. I was a good chunk of the way in. Um, I don't care about this girl. I don't, I really don't even, I don't like her. I don't like the love intro. I don't like either one of them. So I don't want to like spend too much time on it. So I've moved on to listening to this one, which I've also had forever, but something about this one makes me think that I'm going to like love it. Okay. So I just moved on to Well Met by Jen DeLuca and this one's a series. So to me, that means, Hey, somebody liked it. And hopefully that somebody's me. I had a lot of people asking for updates on the GLP-1 shop that I started. So I'll just do a quick update here for you guys. It's been five weeks. Yeah, it's been five weeks. I've taken five shots, let me put it that way. The first four weeks was on whatever the lowest dosage is. I'm not even exactly sure what it was, but I really didn't feel anything one way or another. I didn't feel the benefit of it. I didn't feel the side effects of it. I didn't feel really anything. I mean, not really any different. Um, nothing noticeable. This week I started on the next dosage. So whatever was right above that. Um, and I will say that I felt different this week. <laughs> I felt, um, I started burping yesterday. So it's been like four days, I think since the shot, I started burping yesterday and like, I was just hella burping like all day. It didn't smell like anything. I hadn't really eaten anything. I was just burping literally like morning, noon, and night. I also woke up yesterday nauseous. I woke up, like as soon as I woke up and I opened my eyes, I was like, oh, I think I might throw up. Like I was nauseous immediately. Um, that did kind of subside a bit throughout the day, but it kind of picked up again today. So I've had some nausea today as well. And then, oh, I, in the last vlog, when I had mentioned the cramp here, a lot of you said I, you thought it was related to that. Um, well, it couldn't be. Some of you thought it was related to the tummy tuck too, which again, um, it really can't, I mean, maybe, but it really can't be. <laughs> it started well before um, even the tummy tuck. So it started before the tummy tuck. It started before the shots, obviously. And um, so that that cramping, which apparently a lot of you guys get as well. I guess we're all just cramped, cramped up little girlies here. I don't know. I don't know what it is. I don't know. But uh, yeah, no, I don't, I personally don't think it's related to those things. You never know. They could like exacerbate the problem, but, but uh I don't think, I don't think so, but I, who knows? Clearly not me. Yeah, so that's been the, the side effects, I guess. And I'll say that this week, since the side effects started this week, I will say that I also think that I'm actually feeling them a little bit now in terms of um, not really considering food as much, but not even just not considering it. Like, cause today I woke up and I was like, you know what, I'm gonna make some cookies, right? I told you I made these cookies. I saw them. <laughs> my cat's playing with a fish and um I was like I'm gonna make some cookies I have zero desire to eat these cookies we're having sleepovers tonight each of my kids are having a sleepover here at this house tonight and um it's their cousins right so everybody related but I was like oh I should make some cookies the kids will love it I have zero desire to eat the cookie it, it looks beautiful and you know what's kind of funny is that like my brain does sort of want to like take a bite of a cookie because it just looks so good and I didn't even try it but my body is like don't do it because I am going to revolt if you do it. And it's like, I feel that, like kind of in my stomach, like in my, not literally in my stomach, but like in my gut, I feel like, Sarah, if you consume this, your body is not gonna like it. Cause it's, I don't even know how to explain it. I really don't, but um, yeah. So I would say probably this week I've been, I've certainly been a little less hungry. I've definitely noticed digestion has slowed down a bit. Um, I'm having no issues otherwise as far as like bowels and all of that. I know a lot of people have those issues. I am serious about hitting my goals as far as um, protein, water, fiber. I definitely slack on water a little bit, but I'm I'm about that life. I'm having a fiber smoothie every single day. Um, what we're not going to do is be constipated, okay? <laughs> That's what we're not gonna do. Maybe it'll happen, I hope not. Like, I'll pray to God that it doesn't. But so far, so good on that front. Anyway, enough about that. I just knew people wanted updates and some people don't care. And so here I am to please you all. Girly, whirly. You know what's terrifying? Using the barrel thing, the triple barrel. It's actually only two barrels. Is that, I think the other one I have has three. I don't know. Using this thing on the really short parts of my hair, horrifying. I haven't um, used it since I cut it. So I'm not sure if I'm gonna even like how it 
looks, you know, when it's all and done, but whatever, <laughs> whatever. So we all have plans today. It's already like midday. Kids had a sleepover that was fun or whatever. I mean, it was just them running around being weird. Yeah, so the boys, Louis, my nephew, my kid, I think his friend, um, they went to the city to go to the car show, which I remember going to that when I was a kid, actually. My mom took us all at McCormick Place in Chicago, and it was fun. I remember thinking it was fun, and I, you know, I didn't care about cars, so hopefully they think it was fun. Hopefully they'll have fun there. I don't know. And then um, the girls also have a day. The girls are going, and by the girls, I mean Nala and her cousin Vegas, so my niece. She stayed here last night. Um, they're gonna go to a Galentine's Day party hosted by one of the pastors at the church. And that is a nighttime party. So they're, they're gonna do that in a few hours. And um, thankfully, uh, their grandpa can take them. But she's working, so grandpa is more than happy, ready, and a little nervous, I think. He's like, he's a little nervous. He's like, just, you know, make sure you talk to him, and then I'm gonna talk to him, and then I'll be there if they need me. For some reason, if they don't, you know, if they wanna go home for some reason, just have them tell me I will go get them. Me and three of my brothers are going to a concert tonight. Oh, I messed up that front part. It's hard to redo it. If you guys ever do this and you have, you know, like your stupid hairs in the front that want to only go one direction, like if you're not careful with it, it like goes kind of cockeyed and then that's it. Like for me, there's like literally no saving it. It's just going to be cockeyed. So for my brother's 40th, which was last summer actually, we gave him some tickets to go see Los Tigres del Norte. I don't know what that kind of concert's gonna be like. I've never been to like, I've never been to like that type of concert before. So I am gonna guess that the crowd is gonna be like dancing. I gotta guess there can be dancing. What's up? Your hair. I'm trying to do it. See, it's like we switched. Yeah, we're switching. Nala is straight haired girl today. Mm -hmm. I have some of it pinned back in a twist. Are you excited? How do you feel about it? I'm very excited. Are you? Uh -huh. Some of the girls go to my school and some of them I just know from church. So I kind of hate this. I feel like I have to do something with the top or maybe I have to part it somewhere else because right now it's like not. Um, do a side pull. I feel like you. Yeah, but like, I don't know. Leave the bang. Do like a little... Like a mini hairstyle? I guess. I mean, that's cute. I think that's gonna be fun. That's what I did. My hair's been back. It's just so round. My face is so round. Like, I have a round head, round hair, round face. I'm very round right now. It's kind of my vibe. My 2024 vibe. Circles. That was my shape for this year. Circles. Really? No, I don't know. I don't know. I don't like this hair. You kind of look like a substitute teacher. Oh no. I well, I don't have anything against substitute teachers. I don't know. Okay, I don't think I hate the idea of it like pinned back. I have to straighten my bangs though. I made goodles. Shella good goodles. I don't know, man. Has a bunch of protein, fiber, nutrients from plants. Yada, yada, yada. It tastes like Alfredo. Alfredo? It is white cheddar. Which I guess is kind of like Alfredo. It tastes, it tastes like Alfredo sauce. Hi, stinky boy. Are you sure it's not Alfredo? It literally says like white cheddar in the shells. But isn't that what Alfredo is? Isn't it just like a white cheese sauce? I'm not sure. Hmm. It's okay. Grash is obviously interested. You want some? No, I like them. They're fine. I wonder if the regular cheese one would be better. Probably. You think? I don't um, think you like white cheddar stuff that much. This kind of reminds me more of like the flavor of like the Panera one. That, that's a white cheddar, I think. Hey cutie, so we went to that concert, as I'm sure you saw. Um, I pulled a reverse uno and I took some of Nala's stuff. As opposed to her taking my stuff. Oh, I see all the cookies are gone and all the donuts. I wonder who ate all those. 
Um, I borrowed her boots. Let me show them to you. They're so cute. As we went to that concert, as you saw, I probably inserted a clip. I did get a new belt and belt buckle, but I was not about to buy new boots. So these are the ones that Lewis had gotten her for um, Christmas and they're so pretty. So I borrowed those. Check it out. Pretty nifty, eh? And then it's a nice little, nice little belt. Anyway, it's real late, so I want to go upstairs and go to bed, but uh, my brother's got a little situation he's got to deal with and I got to figure out whether or not him and his family are going to come spend the night here tonight. And if they are, obviously I'm going to wait for them to like come over, but it's like 12.30 at night. So it was a fun concert. Um, overall, it was fun. I, I mean, not, not the best one I've been to, but not the worst. <laughs> and it was, uh, it was a lot, the, um, food and drinks. I didn't really, I didn't eat anything and I didn't buy myself anything to drink. My brother got me a lemonade. Um, but my brother like came back and like showed me, he's like, look, and he like showed me his, a uh, statement. Like, cause you know, when they pulled the money out or whatever, he's like $28 for a slice of pizza. I was like, for a slice of pizza. Yeah. I did see the beers though. The beers were like, I don't know, you know, the guys that walk around or whatever. They were like $20, 20 something dollars for a can. I was like, oh my gosh, imagine trying to get drunk here out of this world. <laughs> You're paying $1 million. So I had lemonade. It was fine. And um, yeah, it was easy enough to get in and out. We left before. I don't know if they do an encore, but we left right before that just so that we didn't get stuck in that traffic. Um, but they they were on for a long time because we left at 11 and they started at like 8.30ish. So they were doing their thing. I'm not hungry, but I kind of think I should eat a little something because I feel like I haven't had enough today. So I think I might have a, like a cheese stick and a beef jerky or something while I wait. And hopefully they come soon and then I'll go night night. What's poppin' amigos, amigos? It's not extracting right. It is coffee, but I don't know. This is not, this is wrong. It's not coming out right. Sure I'm not drink it? No, it's fine. You're not really in it for the coffee anyway. Let's be real. But we're using a new creamer now. Can you I pull like it out? It. Can you pull it out real quick? Mm -hmm. And it's dairy free automatically. There's two, hang on. There's two different ones, but this is just the sweet and creamy. It's by Oatly. They're so good. And they're still loving the Mean Girls one. Yeah, I but... love it. I do both normally. Oh yeah, I don't, I don't. I've just been doing the one and it's really good. Top of the morning to you. No, top of the muffin to you. Do you really think we need the exclamation point? Because it's not top of the muffin to you. <laughs> no, no, it is. <laughs> so the kids are on this like competitive scholastic team and it's really hard. <laughs> the questions are so hard. So we're watching Jeopardy, but we're watching Celebrity Jeopardy. Um, because I feel like Celebrity Jeopardy is, first of all, it's on Hulu. But second of all, it's a little bit easier. Jaden's not up here, just Nala, right now. But, um, I'm vlogging. But, anyway, so that's what we're doing. But I'm gonna make a quick little smoothie because I'm not hungry, but I know I should have something. And um, you guys told me I was overfilling. That's why it wasn't working. Can you grab me a spoon, please? Wait, so some of your fans have to be Taylor Swift fans, I assume. What do you, are you guys excited for the new album? I'm so excited. I'm so excited for it to go on Disney Plus. Today's the Super Bowl. <coughs> yeah, um, she's talking about. I the love Taylor Swift, but not enough to get into football. I don't think I'll ever love somebody enough to get interested in football. Not gonna lie. What if they play football? What if your kid plays football? Um, I will watch them and be like, "Woo!" Listen to the coach, though. I don't know what's going on. Mm, maybe you never know. You never know. Um, softball and baseball. I do love baseball. I, I actually want to go to some, I want to go to some other states. Oh, let's go! I want to go. I want to watch another baseball game. Now this team is starting up again soon. Yeah. I have like. Me? Thank you. Um, this like thing. It feels like it needs a little bit more fruit. Did I overfill? <laughs> Anyways, are you guys excited for her new album? I'm so excited. Wow. Wait. What were the words? Are you guys excited for her new album? I'm so happy. <laughs> some of the hot should be Swifties, okay? Cause like. Mom is a Swifty. Just like, statistically, I'm not. Statistically, I'm not anti Taylor Swift. Like, to, be, to be clear, I'm not one of those people either. Cause like I know some of my Just followers have to be. Okay, pause. Honestly, literally. so aggressive while also not being aggressive. I'm like not. I mean, and I put way more milk than I normally do because I don't like a super milky one, but. And a lot of you were like, I just use the big thing, the big one. 
Um, I use that one too, uh, but I still have the same issue. And I, I think really, it's not the blender's fault necessarily. Um, I think I just hate these cups and I hate that they're like an extra $150, 100 and something crazy. Like the cost of another blender as far as I'm concerned. But I thought it was gonna be like so clutch to just have this, you know? Because I make um, smoothies and stuff all the time now just because I'm trying to get uh, protein fiber in. Yeah. Maybe I just gotta put it on the turbo jet setting. Maybe that's it. Me and Nala out here learning what, how football games work. Um, <laughs> I'm really waiting to see Taylor Swift. Yeah, shocker. I'm just waiting to see. And Usher. And Usher. Yeah, I there was an ad for Usher and she was in the bathroom. I was in the bathroom. But now I'm out. You guys see me in the door or yeah, no? In honor of the big day. No, I forgot this was today. <laughs> yeah, I kind of forgot to. I just turned the, um, I turned the TV on and I was like, oh yeah, okay. So um, today's been a very chill day. I don't normally wear pajamas all day. In fact, I cannot remember the last time I wore pajamas the entire day. I was, I, I was gonna potentially just order something for you guys to eat. Yeah. Huh? No. Can I get my mom there? Yeah. No, I was, well, probably not. I was gonna get wings up. Yes. Okay, Jay, so, you anyway. Know, you know, every time I see Travis Kelsey to you, or you're like, no. Hi, man. Like, how interested are you? How interested this are is you me. in the Travis Kelsey book? Yeah, so me and Nala were just, like, I, I, I think. Generally speaking, I understand a football game. I think the speaking, last call. Because I used to play oh, fantasy. Oh, I know. I think, but, no, at the beginning, I think. I, like when things like this happen, I don't exactly um, know. I know who Travis Kelsey is, and I understand baseball. Those. See, I'm a baseball. Player. The Deadpool yeah, three trail. Baseball, baseball I understand. The Deadpool only. three trail is supposed to come out. Tonight. It already happened. Chicago Cubs. You I should know. give us tickets. They already showed it. It happened at five, right? You should give us tickets, Chicago Cubs. I look like an alien. I know. There's something about it from this angle specifically. It's real bad. Even so I got these because. Um, I've been doing a lot of smoothies and stuff, and so is like Jay. Jay makes smoothies all the time too. Um, but also iced coffee and stuff at home. And I saw these, I saw someone had them, and I'm trying not to buy a ton of cups, but I'm not gonna lie to y'all. Between the three of us and the dishwasher, I don't know what the hell's going on, but we have broken. I feel like I literally went years without breaking anything. And no, like it's just these last like two years where. It's this house. Hey, do you know tomorrow it marks three years since the day I bought this house? Since the day we moved, since the day we moved, since the day I went yeah, and we went, we went we here's all my money. How I have the keys? Bought it in mm, I put the money down. I did not own it until until tomorrow. Anyway, so I ended up seeing these on Amazon, and um, they came in, and I I think they look cool. They they're a good size. That's what I wanted. I wanted like a good size, but with the lid, so I could still kind of walk on the house with it and not be concerned that it's gonna like just fall out. Um, and the lid is domed a little bit, which is good if you have like cold foam and stuff. So I just thought I would mention these wing stuff. I'll, I'll order that for you. I'm not gonna have wing stuff because um, I think that's probably gonna tear my belly up. So I think I'm just gonna oh I'm gonna eat one of those. Uh, chicken meal things that I made with you guys a million years ago. They're still in my freezer. There's only two left. I think I made like five or six that day. Oh, Jay, can you give me the cat bowls? I need to wash them. Hey, girl, you not sure what happened to the rest of the vlog. I had another five minutes or so. It's all here, but it's all black. Uh, it was here previously. I can't find it, so I'll just wrap it up for you. We ordered from Buffalo Wild Wings. The order was wrong. It's always wrong. <laughs> we ordered from DoorDash, which is why I was like, Sarah, stop ordering from DoorDash. And I did for the most part, but this was a special occasion. And anyway, the order was wrong. It was sad. And then I watched the halftime show, and I thought the cameraman did Usher dirty that first minute or so. Like, I, I, you know what? I literally felt like the camera was dirty. Like, why was it kind of fuzzy? It felt like, wipe the screen. Like, wipe it off. I don't know. I really don't know what happened to that footage. It was all edited and everything, but I guess you were not meant to see it. So, yeah. So, I'll see you in the next one. Bye.